Welcome back to a Monday Morning Muse uh, for 2018. Uh, I'm back a lot sooner with these muses than I thought I was going to be. Um, I'm Pastor Doug Bronner. I'm uh, one of the pastors at Holy Cross Lutheran Church in Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado. And I do these Monday Morning Muses. I've done them for, I don't know, over a year now, something like that. And uh, I thought that I was going to be... Um, uh, taking a break from these muses for well, actually quite a while because of back surgery. Uh, as the, many of you know, that surgery did not happen uh, yet anyway. Uh, whether it happens down the road or not, I don't know. The insurance company uh, has denied my uh, uh, surgery at this point. It's in the appeal process at this time. We'll see if it happens. Um, but I'm I'm not really actually feeling that bad right now, um, and yet I, I had to work through some emotions, and that's what I want to talk about today. And there are emotions I think that that each one of us uh, at some point in another works through. Maybe we, they're they're kind of intertwined with each other, and I think that when you experience one of them, you probably experience all three of them, maybe two out of the three, uh, and they all start with this. Um, and and uh, how do we deal with it? How do we deal with uh, discouragement and disheartened, uh, being disheartened and disappointed? Those are the three words I want to talk about today because they're, they're, they're what I've been going through uh, since I found out uh, just a couple of days before my surgery that for sure that I was not going to, to have it. Uh, the difficulty of that was having uh, to go through all my uh, pre-operation stuff that I had to go through, which meant basically getting off of any of my anti-inflammatories, which give me probably the most relief, and, uh, it, and realizing how much they really do help me uh, to, to make it through with my back problems. I have stenosis. It's a narrowing of the spinal canal and uh, uh, laminectomy is the, the procedure that, that we're looking at having done. But I found that when I got the word from my surgeon's office, who is an amazing uh, office, Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group, I'm just uh, very, very impressed with not just my physician, but with uh, the office staff that is there and how they've stayed on top of things and really advocated for me. And, and that's helped me to deal with, actually, the, these three uh, three words uh, of discourage uh, and being disheartened and being disappointed. So let's start with discouraged. Uh, when, and I, I know we can probably take these words in, in many different ways, but I, I, I want to focus in on, on with discouraged about the crushing of hope. You know, we can talk about uh, living without courage. I mean, that's what I know the word suggests, but I think in, involved in this word is a crushing of a person's hope. And that's kind of what I was dealing with. See, I've been dealing with my back issues for about four years, I'm probably longer than that, but I'm having to address it more seriously over the last four years. And I had hope that the surgery would not... I, I, I think I'm pretty realistic that it's not going to totally get rid of my pain. I'm always going to have some pain in my back, but it would have uh, gotten rid of the the pain in my legs. And the surgeon pretty much assured me that that would go away. And I looked for it and there was hope in that. And all of a sudden, I get the phone call and, and it's like, okay, now I'm going to have to live with this pain in my legs the rest of my life. You know, I, I exaggerate, but that's where your mind goes, right? And there's, there's something terrible about when our our hope is crushed inside of us and so where do we find hope again and so I've had to redirect my hope in, in the midst of my my surgery or not having surgery so that's discouraged uh, disheartened deals with our spirit uh, so crushed hope and a crushed spirit I, I think they're related to each other but the spirit is the core of our being and uh, I don't know that I felt this as much as um, being discouraged, uh, being disheartened, because I still, you know, it, it, we're not at the end of the uh, process. And so in my spirit, my person, this core that God has created and made and fashioned and formed and redeemed and, and cares for has not been totally crushed yet, uh, but yet there's been a wounding probably more than anything to my spirit 
thinking about a future that would mean, hey, this is this is this is a reality. You may not have the surgery. You may have to find ways of dealing with uh, the pain, which there are okay. There are ways of dealing with it. And I and be, and be honest with you, I'm aware of many of them. Okay, um, uh, I I uh, I know that people want to give advice, but uh, most of the advice I hear from people now is advice I've already heard, and um, and I appreciate that. I know people care about me, but I already kind of am aware of that kind of advice but still the crushing of my spirit uh, it, it's not quite there but it, it has to it has been wounded and then the third of the dis words and so we've had dis Courage and disheartened is disappoint, and that's probably my biggest. And and that is, you know, uh, uh, our um, health plans are, are fairly decent that we have uh, through the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, and taking care of me for the most part and my family for the most part. This is the first time where I have been rejected uh, in some healthcare, something in healthcare in my my life, and I know. As I've talked to other people, this is the way of the world right now. So I'm disappointed in the insurance company. I'm not disappointed in Concordia Health Plans. They're, they funnel this out to the, my insurance company, which I'll, I'll leave unnamed. <clears throat> but I'm really disappointed in them because I f it feels like they don't really have my best interest in mind. And I become very cynical uh, about where the money is going that the church is paying for my health benefits. You know, is it going to buy up more buildings, investing more stuff for the insurance company and not to my health care? Uh, you know, I can't answer that question. Uh, I know they have their formulas that they have to work with. Um, and, and, because of that, we put this into appeal process. So anyway, uh, as I'm, I know I'm talking a lot about myself here, but I'm hoping that in talking about what I'm experiencing or have experienced in, in my recent history, it touches a chord with you because there's probably something in your life where you have been discouraged, where, where you've, your hope has been crushed, or maybe even I think the deepest level of all is the disheartened where our spirit, the, the core of our being is crushed. Or maybe disappointed, uh, disappointed in in what other people are doing. Uh, maybe some of that disappointment isn't always fair on our part, but it's still something that we deal with. Um, the scripture I want to share with you today that maybe will help you work through the discouragement and disheartedness and the um, disappointment in other people. And it's one you may know of or have heard of uh, before from Psalm uh, 61, verse 2. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You know, the, the psalmist here understands what it means to grow faint or disheartened, to lose hope, uh, to be discouraged, disheartened, or disappointed. Maybe that's all in that word of faint, growing faint. And, and, I, and then, yeah, that's why we love the Psalms, right? Is because they, they reach us at a level where the, of what we go through in life. And the psalmist here says, lead me. The prayer is to lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And, and what is that rock? It's our God. It is our God who has revealed himself in, in Jesus Christ. And I guess we think about discouragement and disheartenment and uh, disappointment. And you wonder if Jesus experienced those emotions too. How crushed he was on his cross for us. And yet through that cross, we have a rock that's higher than us. We have a God who'll never, he will never uh, leave us or forsake us. Now, we may not always understand his ways. And I know I've been talking with people recently who are going through a real time of discouragement. And, and part of that is their prayers are not being answered. And, and I don't have an easy answer for that, okay? I don't. Uh, but faith holds on to God when God doesn't make sense. And I've said that many times. And, and I guess maybe I need to <laughs> listen to my own words, right? Um, Faith is is really holding on to our our God when to us how God acts really doesn't make sense. Anyway, I hope that 
my musing with you this morning is help, helpful to you in what you're going to. And, and maybe you'll share this, um, this vlog with somebody else who's going through a very difficult time in their life and to help them see that, that we ask God to lead us. And that's a process to lead us to the rock that's higher than I am. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for being with me. And, and something if you may, may want to do, I'm on Instagram, and I love sharing a lot of my photography there. I share mostly every day, one, maybe two pictures a day. If you'd like to, if you're on Instagram and like to follow me, you can go to Douglas Bronner. Uh, that's where, where you'll find me at uh, on Instagram. It's all one word: uh, D O U G L A S. B R A U N E R, and I'd love to have you follow. And maybe those pictures will just kind of speak to your heart too. Uh, I feel like God has given me a gift, and I'd like to share it uh, with people as well. Doing a series right now, finishing up a series there, Into the Wild. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's a, a small park here in Colorado Springs, Sonderman Park, and it, it. And I just spent probably I probably only walked maybe a quarter of a mile to take these pictures, but. Uh, uh, they, they were a lot of fun to take and to share. So anyway, Instagram if you want to follow me. Uh, I'll be back hopefully next week, uh, back on uh, this Monday Morning Muse. Um, I, and uh, I thank you for all your prayers that many of you have said from my behalf during this time period. I look forward to being with you uh, the next time.